hello guys welcome to my channel in this video I'm going to show you that how you can use shapes inside Adobe Illustrator so basically when you're going to use the shapes this is going to help you in building your brand your vector or any other shape that you want to make inside the Adobe Illustrator so this builder building already built-in shapes available inside the Adobe Illustrator really help you a lot to make any vector easily so here I'm already open my Adobe Illustrator program and uh, here you can see on the toolbar all the or in this toolbox design you can see we have this rectangle tool if you click here and right click here you can see we have this rectangle tool rounded rectangle tool ellipse tool polygon star tool and flare tool so I'm going to start from the rectangle tool two middle to make your rectangle one you click here so this uh, little rectangle box is going to open here you can give a specific value or pixel to your rectangle so I'm going to type like 200 by 200 the wide is 200 the high is 200 for the rectangle you're going to get four different corners available I'm going to click here so here you can see our effect go to select selection tool here you can see we have four uh, one two three four four corners available for rectangle so if I want to make say, make the size of this uh, rectangle tool a little bit bigger so I'm going to press alt shift on the keyboard and here from the corner I'm going to scale this up so this is going to scale so you can see that we have our shape so here I can do I can I can also the second method to make this rectangle tool is uh, you click you select your rectangle tool from here after that you can draw like this so you can make it like this or you can make it like this this is a row base or you can make it a column base like this inside Adobe Illustrator so this is our rectangle tool and also let me do not forget that uh, every shapes that you are creating inside Adobe Illustrator we have this uh, direct selection tool if you click here you can select from corners for our rectangle tool we have four corner so if I want to move this corner I, I am going to click at this corner I can move it with arrow key or I can move it with my mouse like this I can move this corner to anywhere I want to move this so this is definitely going to help you in creating your shapes or uh, vectors uh, inside Adobe Illustrator you can see I can move uh, these uh, uh, points to anywhere so from the rectangle I we we can make something like these shapes it means that uh, when you have four different points available or four different corners available for your rectangle so you can click on the direct selection tool and you can move them you can mess around like you can move this here like I can move this here so this is going to give you extra tries to work on your shape so this is how you are going to make a, a shapes a rectangle tool inside Adobe Illustrator so shapes is um, if you want to make the same uh, rectangle tool you have to use a different tool to make but this built-in shapes actually really help you in creating your brands so if you want to be a professional designer for to start working for a company or 
for a private uh, for a uh, 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 for your own company or for a private company so you have to have you you need to know all the tools is which is available inside the adobe illustrator so if you don't use uh, these uh, shapes all these tools properly then you can't actually design anything inside adobe illustrator so if you want to be professional so you have to learn you have to join my channel you have to subscribe here you are going to get all the tutorials of the uh, designing available because i am myself i'm spending you know, more than four years of my life designing for different companies for my own staff i i uh, actually made more design and sell it online i work a brand promoter like i made a lot of brand i made a lot of cp templates i made social media uh, design i made a lot of things uh, with now it's time to work for ai it's actually a time of ai works but it's still graphic designers actually required to work for companies because uh, ai is uh, is completely a, f uh, a source that is going to do automation work but still graphic designs always uh, need to fulfill the requirement of the uh, of designing a perfect uh, thing for the human being so ai cannot actually replace graphic designers so let me close uh, let me delete this one so i can go to the next shape here we have this rounded rectangle tool so if i click here I have two methods. One, I can click on the artboard, and here you can see with this uh, rounded rectangle, it means that uh, we have the four points available, but the corners actually round. So let me show you. If I here, I am going to type like 200 with the 200. So here I can round the corners. Here I can reduce like I want to reduce it to 10 pixel. So I'm going to click OK. So here, if I'm going to press Alt and Shift on the keyboard and scale this, you can see that only this parts is now, if I click on the direct selection tool, you can see we have two, two points for each corner available. It means that uh, this uh, portion, uh, which uh, have two points available here, it's actually reduced or it's rounded so that's why if I click at the corners so I can move that anywhere so if you want your corners to be more rounded so you are going to uh, select uh, this uh, uh, shape and from the upper um, part menu we have this uh, we have all this action menu of uh, uh, align centers and also you're going to see this corner radius so if I click here so you can see the corner is actually reducing more and more so it's uh, actually if you press this and uh, do it until it's going to reduce that's going to um, uh, convert to a circle shape so also we have this a corner type here you can select this one and also we have this one uh, so uh, this uh, this was our shape so maybe you uh, you see this kind of uh, shapes available that uh, people used to uh, work on it and make it a brand so from here uh, when you uh, want to reduce it so oh, you can click on this shape as well and also from here you can see we have this uh, corners uh, we can move this like this or i can do for this corner which is here so for each corners you can actually you can change the size if you click here this is going to change for every corners because every corners have the same uh, here we have the same points for every corner so here you can see 
if I move this if I click here so this is going to change for everything so here we have this scale corner so if you uncheck this one so if you're going to scale this corners if you want to copy this so here you can see now when I'm going to scale this is going to change the shape is actually changing when I'm going to press all shift and press enter so you can see the shape is actually changing now if I leave it uh, all shift delete you can see the shape is now changes so I need to click here go to shape and here I need to scale corner so I have to now when I'm going to press alt and shift on the keyboard then when I'm scaling this the shapes you can see the shape is now not changing so this technique is uh, really work with Adobe Illustrator sometimes it happen you design your shape when you finally time to save the shape to a PC then you are going to forget that uh, this uh, scale corner is and check when you move this to a new document with a new size so this corner is actually going to change because you are actually uncheck this one so also we have this scale stroke and effects if you add a stroke to your shape like here I'm going to click at the stroke I'm going to add a stroke of a 10 so here also if I uncheck this one this is going to affect on the stroke as well so here you can see we have the same uh, 10 pixel stroke you can see and now if I want to uh, go to shape and here I'm going to scale so here you're going to see like if I scale this one you can see the strokes also going to be changed so the best thing is to go to your shape and check this two option always turn it on so I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to this ellipse tools so I'm going to select ellipse tool grill as a circle so I'm going to uh, here uh, draw my shape press alt and shift on the keyboard so pressing alt and shift on the keyboard really help you if I draw this you can see this is going to draw like this or like this one so if I want to add, uh, actually make a circle so it should be a center not actually move around so I'm going to press alt and shift and here I will tra drag this is going to be called drag so you are going to be drag so this shape is going to meet so here this is really easy to make a circle for the circle you have no other option available right here only if you click on the shape you can see we have this only size available and also here we have this rotate available we can rotate our shape our shape and also from here I can actually minus this uh, shape uh, I can go to 120 you can see 120 is going to actually add it to your shape so this is really can help you to in your uh, circle with your uh, this will be, if you click 217 it's going to minus that on so we have this uh, 120 you can see we have this pi end angle and we have this pi start angle and also we have a here like invert pi like if you click here you can see the only one part is going to show one part is not going to show so here you can see we can invert that and also the same thing we have the scale corners and also scale strokes and effects for our ship so go ahead mess around with uh, uh, this option when you uh, watch this video so you can you can practice and you can learn and also let me explain this uh, three other also polygon so if I click polygon if I click here so polygon is going to give me you can actually give it a radius and also the sides 
like uh, if I want to make a like if I want to make a rectangle here not a rectangle a polygon tool a rectangle have four but this a polygon have one two if I go to this uh, direct selection tool you can see we have one two three four five six six by default available for polygon so if I select polygon and click here I can change this to uh, four which is rectangle when you press enter this is going to make you the same rectangle shape so if I click on the screen you have the five I can change it to five if I click OK you can see we have this shape with the five uh, points available you can see and when I click on the screen I can change to six seven eight if I, you select it you're going to OK you can see we have this shape with eight different points or corners you can see we have this this one or this one if you count it, it's going to be it so this is how you're going to make a uh, this uh, how you can make your a polygon shape uh, here so if I go to this shape and here I can increase that to something like this I can do it until 19 or I can decrease that and also from here you can see corner radius if you do this this is going to add a radius to the corners of your polygon and also we have this rotation like if you want 120 to rotate it's going to rotate that and also I can do it 120 150 or 45 if you need that so you can do from here and also from here you can give a polygon radius and also we have this polygon side length so if I going to give it like uh, uh, 180 so you can see it's going to increase the size here so from here I can give it a radius like uh, let me add I can I can actually increase that to 400 you can see now this is uh, this is actually increased so uh, so this is how you can change the you can uh, for the polygon you can insert the polygon shape and also you can change and also let me say that if you uh, make a rectangle tool we actually we can go to this um, shape available option for this as well we can do the same rotate we can actually corner type we can also uh, we, from here we can change the corner type like this from the right corner here and also from the left corner is going to actually insert for the uh, for this rectangle tool also we have this available so I don't want so I just wanted to show you that it's also available so we actually didn't go through all through this only this rectangle uh, we didn't actually go to this uh, shape option here we have the same uh, scale and uh, scale for this rectangle as well so be careful about uh, this option where you're drawing your shapes for every shapes you create this is going to give you more ability here we have this star tool if I'm going to make a star tool if I click here you can see we have this uh, points available like I want to go with the six or seven go when you click OK this is going to give you this star shape inside your Adobe Illustrator so I'm going to scale this for now so here you can see we have this uh, transform but we uh, we can see uh, actually uh, for this we, we are not going to see like this shape if you click at the polygon or something you're going to select this shape and you can change uh, settings for that but if you click here you're not going to see that you only see this transform 
which you can transform or you can actually scale corner or scale a stroke here let me add a different star using this star you can actually make um, a lot of shapes so here i can go to like it i can add a radius in the in our size of this star shape as well so i'm going to click ok you can see we have this shape uh, i will i will make more vectors so using these shapes you can make um, um unlimited uh, kind of vectors inside adobe illustrator so no one actually shared that uh, only everybody is uh, actually going that you can uh, saying that uh, you can use this uh, shapes to uh, to uh, create vectors but no one tell you that that you, you simply you can use these shapes to make uh, money you can you can use this shape to make any kind of uh, vectors inside adobe illustrator because they are not actually uh, describe it uh, uh, very well so that's why you can't understand that so using these shapes you can do a lot more thing and i will share it in our videos so how you can use the shapes um, with the single lines to convert it to modern shape like make it complete vectorize uh, so i will show you in our videos here let me share the last thing we have available flare tool and i will show you how to combine shapes to make a single shape and i will share it in our videos watch our channel follow our channel subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon on the subscribe button as well so you are going to be notified about our future videos so here i'm going to click on flare flare is going to add me a flare uh, flare like a, a light flare light so it's a light going to add here when i'm going to click here so here it's going to give me like if i drag this pressing the uh, button on your uh, mouse so it's going to allow you to go more with this uh, flare so if i going to leave it you can see this flare is now made so you can use this flare for your shapes if you want to so from this uh, uh, designing this uh, toolbar you can access this flare as well it's kind of a light you can add to your ship so hope you guys um, enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any question regarding this video please uh, leave uh, your comment in the comment box of this video and please share your suggestions and also if you uh, want to stay tuned about our about our future video don't forget to subscribe to our channel See you guys until next video. Have a great day.